Welcome, this is John Highman from Commercial Real Estate Online. This is another video for my friends in commercial real estate brokerage, sales, leasing and property management around the world. And this particular video is another in the series of the Top Agent Matrix. In earlier videos, I've taken people through particular skills relating to being a top agent in the marketplace. And today, I'm taking you into another subtopic within this matrix. If you haven't visited our website before, it is commercial-realestate-training.com and at the website you can get plenty of tips, tools and ideas relating to commercial real estate brokerage. So let's go into this program and look at things a little bit further. And most particularly, the skills relating to being a top agent in today's marketplace. I want to take you into the concept of checklists. There are many different checklists to think about being a broker and checklists will help you when it comes to covering off on all of the issues but most importantly it'll help you cover off on being professional as a broker an agent in your location with a property type and with the special unique factors of the precinct so checklists are a good thing to use and of course every day you'll learn something new and different that you can add to your checklist and ultimately become the highly professional agent or broker in your location in an earlier video, I covered off on inspecting properties correctly. And in that particular topic, I covered many things relating to industrial, office and retail properties. But today, I want to go into another subset, and this is particularly property details and inspections. So in going into property details and inspections, there is an article at the website which covers off on the key issues, particularly systems for dealing with property inspections, appraisals and facts. In that particular article, I've got a PDF file there for you to download. So more about that later, and let's get into these particular topics. So property details and inspections. What do you need to think about? Well, information is leverage in commercial real estate brokerage. Most property information is valuable, and usually it can be turned into further levels of action or strategy at the right time in the future. The other fact to remember here is that you just don't know when you'll need to use it or how to use that information as part of your brokerage activities, negotiations, interactions with the prospects and the clients. So collation and organisation strategies are required when it comes to using that information later. So what are your information systems like now? What can you do to improve them? How can you get systemised with property details and inspections? Well, let's look at that a little bit further. There are transactions and opportunities to be found in information. And that is only if you work it, collate it, and go through it thoroughly. There are investors, owners, business owners, businesses in occupancy to investigate as well as property detail, improvements and configurations. There are questions to ask. So you need an information gathering system to handle that. And that's what this matrix will help you with. So let's look at how you can organize your property detail, your property information. And let's go to item number one. That is logical and systematic investigation. The best way to gather facts for commercial real estate review is by street building and precinct, also property type. The deeper you go into a location, the more significant the amount of information you will find. That's why I go back to the point of organization. Use printed street and precinct maps where you can highlight a site or a building that you have covered or started to investigate. Maps guide you as you review a place thoroughly. Go deeper into a property location and you will find things. So let's go to point number two. Voice recorder use. The voice recorders that you can purchase today are large in storage and small in size. Of course you can get an app and put that on your mobile phone. That's useful and it is cheap. However, I use both and there are reasons for that. The app on your mobile phone can be used at any time and of course you can capture information as you walk through a property. You can look as though you are having a telephone conversation but indeed you are using your voice app to record the observations that you are making with maybe a shopping centre, an industrial property or an office building. In other words, you don't attract attention. People think that you are making a mobile telephone call. So that's good and that's useful. And you can go back to those notes later from your mobile phone and put them in paper form or collate them into a computer. However, I do also like the voice recorder use that is a 
permanent and dedicated voice recorder. You can buy them from most large stationary organisations. They can record conversations, meetings. They are extremely effective. Most media outlets, most reporters today use voice recorders because you can record information as you see it. The ability there, of course, is to then download the MP3 recording into your computer later and go back on those notes at a later time. That's very valuable when you're inspecting a listing or a property to be a listing. You can keep your notes and you can refer to them on your computer later. So a dedicated voice recorder will allow you to download your files. As you're walking through a shopping centre, a building, an industrial park, you will see things and the voice recorder will allow you to capture that information without drawing the attention of others. The other advantage, as I mentioned, is that you can download the MP3 file for later review and or action. So let's go to point number three. Taking photographs and putting them online. That's part of the inspection process. Ensure that you have a mobile telephone with a photo album that pushes to the cloud. Every photo that you take of a property or a precinct will then be pushed to that cloud for later review and organisation. The organisation can be in property type, listings, zones, precincts, whatever you like. Group your photos into albums of those types and precincts. Now Google Photos is a very good process for that digital organisation. Of course if you have an iPhone you'll be using the iPhone comparison or comparable for that service. The other advantage here with this process is that you can access these photos on your tablet or on your mobile phone when you're in a meeting with clients or prospects. The photos are engaging. They become a listing or a presentation comparison tool. Photos are very valuable in making a point about a property or a location. So let's go to point number four. That is a note taking system. This can be on your telephone or your tablet computer using apps such as Google Keep or Evernote. Of course, Google Keep is free and it's available in the Google Suite. And Evernote doesn't cost a lot of money and it's also very powerful. So your notes can be digital and are cloud-based, so you can access them for later review. And those notes can be grouped in property types, precincts, clients, whatever you like. You can also add to them as more information is identified. It's a very powerful process. Categories allow you to simplify the notes and group them for specific activities. So let's go to point number five. A simple A5 notebook. You can never underestimate the use and the value of a small, simple notebook that you carry with you every day, everywhere. Start a new notebook each month and use a page per topic to give organization to the process. So at the end of the day, you can upload your files to the computer for later reference. And of course, all meetings, calls, conversations and decisions can be tracked in the notebook. What I like to see here is that the book is changed monthly and is kept for later reference if you need reference relating to a meeting, a decision or a discussion. It's a very powerful tool. So let's go into point number six. That is checklists by property type. When you use a property specific checklist, you will ask better questions and see things that others might overlook. Design your checklists on spreadsheets so that you can use them on your tablet, your laptop or your mobile phone. You can then tick off each item on your spreadsheet as you move through a property. You can save that spreadsheet for later. So checklists can be and should be spreadsheets. So you can have checklists for industrial, also for leasing, office, projects, property management, retail and sales. Many different checklists depending on what your focus is in what you do today. That is checklists by property type. So let's go to point number seven, Dropbox. Dropbox is a very effective tool to use in brokerage, given that most of your time should be out of the office. Indeed, staying out of the office is a good thing. You'll see things, you'll do things, you'll stay away from distractions of other people. You will get involved with your property market. So use Dropbox as you are remote from the office most of the time. This is perhaps one of the most practical and useful business storage tools that we have available today. Integrate a Dropbox account into all of your electronic devices. All your important files can then be available for immediate use and access in a presentation or a discussion. And those files particularly will be in listing form, 
may be reports or research relating to sales or leasing activity. So the Dropbox is very powerful, very useful. Let's go into point number eight. Task lists. Now I've put here a number of different strategies that you can apply to task lists. All of these things can be applied to your mobile phone, your tablet or your computer. Why do this? Well, I mentioned earlier that you are remote from the office most of the time. And you should be. Stay away from the office. It's just time wasting unless you have to be there. Get out of the office, get involved in your market, meet new people. That's what the strategy is every day. But you need the tools to help you with that. And a task list tool will allow you to do that from your precinct as you walk around and talk to people, etc. And of course, that then helps you with property details and inspections. So let's talk a little bit more about this particular topic. You can have specific tasks online. You can use one of these lists that I'm mentioning here. The list process will be for property facts and also property observations. You can get an app on your mobile phone or your tablet and use it for property types, property situations, negotiations, maybe even clients. You can see in come across many different things each day for later investigation. That's where the task list helps you go back to things effectively and directly. It's far more powerful than keeping a paper driven task list. Using a specific app for it will help you get away from the problem of losing information or overlooking things at a later time. And you get very busy in commercial real estate brokerage. So the different apps that I've mentioned here are quite simple and quite easy to obtain. Of course, Google Tasks is one of the most effective and it's free if you use the Android phone or the Google app and the Google Calendar, etc. Outlook is used by many people. Uh, Outlook has been around for years. It's quite powerful. It integrates back into the Outlook program and that can be useful and convenient to you. Todoist is another particular application which is very powerful. It's a yearly subscription for the premium package. There is a free package, however. But Todoist is extremely powerful, very useful, and I think perhaps one of the best for what we do and how we have to do the different types of work each day. And there's another one out there called Wonderlist. Wonderlist is currently free. Uh, I believe they intend to charge for it over time. Wonderlist is not as complex and as comprehensive as Todoist. In fact, I'd say that Todoist is the most comprehensive and convenient task list application that I have come across. However, make your own choices between these. Todoist, Wonderlist, Outlook and Google Tasks. They are all there for you to use. So let's go into point number nine. Property specific facts. Now this will typically be tenancy schedules, ownership records, property history, the local area prices and rental information. You can capture property specific facts in some way or form. And that can be in a checklist, it can be in a spreadsheet, it can be in a specific list relating to the property, the client that you're interacting with. So when you look at it, property specific facts are comparables, improvements, location facts, prices, rents and transactions. So through all of these things, you actually become a professional agent in perhaps more control than what you may be in currently. Control helps you cover off on all of the issues relating to what you're doing, what you're seeing. And that then allows you to be more professional with the clients, the prospects and the listings that you work. So property specific details and inspection processes are very valuable in what you do today. As I said before, you can check out this particular article online and there is a file there for you to download and it covers all of the issues relating to systems for dealing with inspections, appraisals and facts. It's a PDF. The article, by the way, when you're searching on the website is Systems for Dealing with Property Inspections, Appraisals and Facts. I loaded it in there in uh, February 2019. So that's the end of this particular topic. There are many other aspects of this program that I will go into. As you can see, there are many in the program itself. And uh, I'll put other videos up here shortly relating to the other topics that we need to go into. So this is another video in the Top Agent Matrix series. This is John Highman signing off for now, and I'll catch you again very soon online.